Hello, my name is Jalen Avila, and in this video, we are going to discuss some basics on color and power Doppler. Doppler ultrasound basically is trying to tell us one of three things, or all three, and that's a direction, velocity, and pattern of blood flow more commonly, although sometimes it is tissue. Now, with regards to the color itself, I don't want you to think about red is venous or arterial or what. It all has to do with relations to the transducer itself. Anything moving away from the transducer is going to be blue, and anything moving towards the transducer is going to be red. Now, we're going to look at this image right here. Now, based off of this by itself, you can't really tell what's what, but we did the scan, so we know this is the popliteal artery, this is the vein, and right now, imagine this is a big linear transducer. This vein right here, the blood flow is going away from the transducer. It's a net negative deflection away from the transducer, so it's going to be blue. And this one right here, this is going towards the heart, so it's going up, positive deflection. It's going to give you a red signal. Now, if I just turn the transducer 180 degrees, these numbers would completely just flip because it doesn't matter what the blood is doing in relation to the human what matters is what it's doing in relation to the probe itself. I'm going to take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Let me show you an example of how that works. So right here we have the carotid artery. Now right now it's blue, right? It means that the net flow of the carotid artery is going away from the transducer. This is probably an anterior jugular vein, probably. The jugular vein is a bit compressed down here. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to now just tilt the transducer. So instead of it going mostly towards my head, I'm now going to angle it down until it's going towards my feet. It's the same blood vessel, but as I tilt the transducer ahead, I am now getting red because it's going towards the transducer now. The carotid flow is going up and it's going net towards the transducer, which is represented by kind of this flat line right here. That's why it's red when it's tilted this way. Now, power Doppler, it's a similar kind of thing, but it only gives you one thing, just the pattern. It doesn't tell you anything about the speed, anything about the direction. It just tells you if there is flow or not. And this actually comes in handy when you have very low flow states, such as what you might see in testicular torsion or an inflammatory condition around something like an appendix. So I'm using power Doppler here around my carotid artery. Now note there's no velocities, no numbers here because we can't tell the velocity, but we can tell flow. And notice it doesn't matter if my transducer is tilted up or my transducer is tilted down. It's going to be the same color because all it does is detect flow. So that's the difference between power Doppler and color Doppler. I do want to point something out, and that is the fact that for the ultrasound machine to be able to get a Doppler signal, it has to be something other than 90 degrees when you're looking at color and power Doppler. So if you notice, right here in the middle as I'm tilting, I get to a spot right here where there's absolutely no flow because I am perfectly perpendicular to the flow. I am 90 degrees to flow. And when that happens, it's some trigonometry thing that I'm not going to go into. When that happens, you get no Doppler shift, and so you get no flow. So if you're having trouble getting flow, I'd recommend fanning the transducer just a little bit so that you can have some kind of a shift, and you do that by being off of 90 degrees. So anything but 90 degrees, the farther away you are from 90 degrees, the better. 180 degrees or zero degrees is going to give you the best signal. That's it for this 5-Minute Sono video on color and power Doppler. Here is how you can contact me. I hope to hear from you soon, and happy scanning.